everyone, it's Evelyn and thanks for stopping by the channel. Today's video is going to be an exciting one because I was gifted Rapunzel for my 30th birthday. Thank you, hubby. And I'm just so excited about this doll. Um, she's here. You guys have probably already seen her on my Instagram if you follow me there. But uh, today we are going to unbox her, which I almost didn't do. <laughs> um, and then just kind of take a look at her against some of my other dolls. You know, what eye color does she actually have? And what is her skin tone? Just the comparisons that we can do on this channel are going to be great. Um, after that, I'm just going to kind of share my opinions on her and why I chose her out of the three dolls that they put out for the Disney collaboration. So without further ado, let's get into it. I really love how she came wrapped in this tissue wrap because it really felt like I was opening a present. Um, I had my husband there with me watching and oh, it just was so special and my very first limited edition other than like gaudy dolls. Um, my very first American Girl collector doll for my 30th birthday. It's just crazy. So I was grabbing her out of the you know, cardboard box and looking at her in this box. And like, I don't know. I was like, I don't know if I can keep her in here. I had kind of thought about it because I don't know. There's that thing with me when I have something really valuable like this, like I'm going to ruin it if I keep it, um, you know, out of the box or something like that. But I knew I had to open her anyway because her hair was stuck in her earring. Why? It's so bad. <laughs> and then her necklace is all janky. I don't know. She's got this cute head tilt going on, which is really fun. But anyway, just right out of the box, I'm obsessed. And immediately I can tell that her eyes are not gray, um, which was surprising. I had an idea of that from everybody else on AGIG. Um, oh, she's number 1166 of 4,000. Nice. It would have been cool to get like an even 1000 or something, but I'm probably never going to look at that thing again. Um, so she's like in this box really well. Like if you had this idea in your head of, oh, I'll just take her out and grab a few pictures. No, you're going to be cutting this doll out. She's not going to go back in nicely. So just a warning to you that like her dress is literally you have to cut her dress out you have to cut everything and I don't know I was like I maybe I'll just take her out and take a couple of pictures and then see um but no no you have to cut her out of the box I get it but I don't know you're not going to be probably keeping that like never removed from box value if you want to take the doll out at all and the other thing is that this hairnet was so hard to get off. It was so stuck on there. I had to actually end up cutting it. It just didn't want to come off because it was like wrapped around the braid. Um, not sure if that was intentional. But another thing that I noticed while I was unboxing her is that she has flyaways worse than mine. She's got a lot of them going on. So I kind of had to pick at those a little bit, which I was shocked by. So they make 4,000 of these, right? That's it, 4,000. And, you know, it's still mass production, but are these not quality checked by hand? And if so, why don't they have one of us quality checking these? A collector that's as picky as collectors are going to be. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know. That's just... You know, I think that the eyes on this one are okay, though, and I was worried about that because I've been seeing a lot of really wonky eyes on AGIG and on some of the Facebook groups, but man, I think mine's really pretty. She might have a little bit of a wonky left eye, but um, overall, she's stunning. This dress is beautiful and detailed. I just, yeah, it's really nice. I do not like certain things about it. Like, look at these flowers. But anyway, I 
decided that I wanted to take the outfit off so I could redress her. And I don't know, I just kind of wanted to see and take a look at these items up close. Don't mind my dirty mascara finger. <laughs> I don't know what that's all about. Whatever, it's fine. It is what it is. I'm a human being. Um, so yeah, they do have this nice protective plastic underneath the sleeves on this, which is nice. I guess they suspect it might stain. I do like that she has unique underwear at least, so that's nice. Oh, and then I had to figure out how in the world I was going to get this necklace off. There's a little rubber band on there, and once I got that off, it was fine. But yeah, I had to be so careful with the braid I was, I was taking her out. Um, but here is an up-close look at this dress. I don't know what it is about the material, the main material that it's made out of. You see that purple? It looks cheap to me. Everything else looks okay, but the material in particular looks really cheap. Is it just me? I don't know what material this is. It's kind of slick, um, a little bit shiny. I love the bodice on this though. The embroidery is very pretty. I love the ribbon. The, I mean, it's just a very pretty dress. Does it look like a very expensive dress? Not to me. The embroidery is very nice. The white, or sorry, no, the pink part you see here that's glittery is actually very stiff. It feels weird. And I think it also sheds glitter, which is a big pet peeve of mine. If you're going to release a product with glitter, please protect me from the, sh the glitter. <laughs> um, but yeah, the bodice has some sequins. Of course, you've got the, I don't know how you pronounce it, Swarovski crystals on there, which are pretty. Just, it's definitely very beautiful dress. Well designed, looks like Rapunzel. I probably could see this being released by Disney themselves. So here's the back of it. We've got a Velcro closure. The stitching on here is, I mean, just all looks very nice. Embroidery, sequins on the bodice, and um, the purple is really nice. It's just all looks fantastic. We've got a little bit of ruffling on the sleeves here that are made out of that mesh or tulle. Um, here we go, some more of the dress. I'm actually kind of contemplating selling this. I don't know, what do you guys think? I'm not super attached to it. Oh, here's the underwear. Um, the shoes match the necklace and the shirt very, or the dress very well. They do feel very cheap. Oh, but yeah, the necklace is made out of ribbon. And then you see these flowers that they use for her hair are like those cheapy fabric flowers, like the ones on Melody's daisy dress, for example. And then the crown, that actually feels very sturdy and very nice. I really love this. Oh, it's just so pretty. So with her out of her outfit, I wanted to put her in something else. And this is what I chose. This is a dress by an Etsy seller called Buzzin B. I'll put a link to her shop in the description, but I just think it screams Rapunzel, even though it's not super Rapunzel-y. And it's so gorgeous on her. I'm absolutely obsessed. I left the yellow flowers in her hair too and just think that this look is so sweet and simple and beautiful. She will definitely be in this dress for the time being and I just, I can't stop looking at her. I'm so glad that I took her out of the box and actually am enjoying her. The question for now is going to be, is she going to stay in this braid? What do you guys think? What would you do? Or what are you going to do if you also got this doll? Definitely let me know in the comments below. So now let's get into the comparisons. I first wanted to take a look at her eyes. So I have a custom Marie Grace that has gray eyes and my custom McKenna who has Marie Grace's original eyes. So you can see that they are definitely not gray. They are much closer to the Marie Grace eyes, but they're also not exactly the same as the Marie Grace eyes, which is surprising. 
My complaint here though is of course the same as everyone else's. Why does she have these blue green gray eyes and not green eyes? Especially since I now know and have confirmed with my eyes that she has a special eye color just made for her. I think that the Be Forever Felicity eyes or maybe kind of a mix between the Be Forever Felicity and um, regular Felicity or even maybe a lighter pinwheel style green would have been perfect. I mean, even Leah's eyes would have been so much better than this. So why make an entirely new eye color just for this doll and have it not be the eye color to match the character that this doll is supposed to represent. So gorgeous eyes. And in fact, probably one of the main reasons I got the doll, but they're not Rapunzel's and I don't understand why not. Moving on to the next comparison. Here she is with a couple of my other light skinned Marie Grace molds. I like this comparison because it actually looks like Rapunzel has a bit of a darker skin color than my custom Truly Me 117 River. It looks a little bit more like a regular light skin tone, but then not quite like the original light skin tone either. And I also think it's really fun to see the dark blue eyes up against hers just for comparison's sake as well. Before I go, I just wanted to briefly touch on why I chose Rapunzel as my favorite of the three Disney collab dolls especially since Rapunzel is probably not my favorite of the characters themselves. Simply put, she has a unique eye color, which I am drawn to as a collector who likes to have all of the features in my collection. And also, I have some nitpicks about the other two. First and foremost, the use of the Sonali mold on Princess Jasmine. I think they got everything else right about this doll. The outfit is perfection. It's beautiful. It looks the most expensive out of the three. I think the only thing I don't like about it is probably the hair ties look a little bit cheap, but her outfit is spectacular and it looks so pretty with her specific shade of skin. Now, it's the Sonali mold. That's the problem. Had they used the Corinne or Nanea mold, I would have purchased this doll literally the second it came out in an instant. But they chose to use the Sonali mold. And it's really bothering me because this Sonali mold is not the original Sonali mold. They have changed it so much. And I believe that they have done this to make it more quote unquote versatile. I don't, I don't exactly know the right words for it, but maybe more versatile for the CYO generator. And they have made the eyes more narrow, the whole face more narrow. It's just not the Sonali mold that I know and love. And Belle she looks like Rebecca. She looks like a, one of the Truly Me dolls. She's just not giving anything special to me as far as features in my collection. I've got a lot of Josefina Mold dolls. And primarily, my biggest beef, other than just the plainness of her, is her dress. It looks very cheap to me. I don't know why there's so many crystals on the bodice. It just is not doing it for me. I, I'm i not getting that like bell nostalgia from this doll. Um, maybe the Nanea mold would have looked really nice or the Joss mold, but she's probably my least favorite of the three. That said though, despite the many gripes I have about this collection and despite the amount of time that I could spend ranting about it, I am happy that they made these dolls and I'm especially excited to have Rapunzel as a part of my collection now. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Of course, if you have any questions about this doll or just want to chat about her in the comments, feel free to do so. I love reading all of your comments and replying to them. They make me so happy. And of course, if you have not subscribed, please go ahead and consider doing so. I try to upload every single week. Uh, if I can, um, but there is plenty of more American Girl content coming your way. So until next time, 
take care of yourselves. Bye guys.